Okay people, this is himself. Now, most of you have probably heard of Justin Inglesias. He's an Armour King player from the US and some time ago he shared a particular setup on Twitter. So in this video, I'm going to elaborate on that and I'm also going to show you a variance that King has. So from Dark Upper, the easy staple combo is this. It does 73 damage and ends with Shining Wizard. If you want wall carry, you can do this, CD1 into FT1. Now this only does 70 damage, but you will probably get splat. If though you want to be devious, do this, dashing CD1 into just F2. Now because you're dashing, your F2 will be too late, and that means it whiffs. What you then do though is DF2, where people see that whiff, they will think they can attack. And if they tech roll and try to do that, even with a low jab, DF2 will count it. Now because it's a count it, it's a launch, and that means we can do 65 damage. This setup though has weaknesses. One of them is that if they tech roll into a block, DF2 is minus 12, and we can be punished. To counter that though, we can use throws. Giant Swing and DDT both look like 1 plus 2 throws, so we have a true 50-50. The other way they can escape is to stay down. That's where ground throws come in. Sadly, only the one throw does damage, but on the flip side, you'll catch tech rollers and back rollers. What that leaves is wake up attacks, and this is where the setup falls down. Apart from blocking or guessing, there isn't much we can do, so that is their easy way out. There is though a variant of this, and it's slightly better. What we do is this combo. Now normally, we'd end with a Shining Wizard, and that would get us 76 damage. But what we do instead is CD1 into D2. Now the D2 will whiff, but this is our setup. What we want is the opponent to tech roll and attack, and while they do that, we do while standing 2. Now while standing 2 is safe on block, but if they've twitched, it will count it, and in that case, we can get a blue spark upper. Now obviously they can tech roll and block, so to discourage that, we can use throws. Because you recover crouching, you'd expect AK Driver to be your choice. But the opponent is just out of range, so instead we use Instant Shining Wizard or a Dashing Giant Swing. Just like the first version, this setup does have its weaknesses. People can stay down to avoid the mix-up. What we do have though is a small cover. With D2, we can add on the extension. This clips people on the floor and beats out wake up kicks. The danger though is that it's minus 14, so you are taking a bit of a risk. Now King has different moves, but he does have a similar setup. With a tripping low, your best staple combo is this. It does 54 damage and you get Oki. If though your FF1 combos are not good, you can do this. It does 45 damage and you still get OK. If it's wall carry that you're after, then change the combo. Instead of doing Shining Wizard, do Olympian Kick. This will pick them up and then finish with F21. But this is where the setup begins. What you do is F2 late. That will make it with and trigger people to attack. What you then do is a delayed D1. If that hits, the two can be hit confirmed and that means we get a launch. Now this works on tech rollers, but also wake up kicks, so you're covering two options. The problem though is that D1 can be blocked, and in that case, you're at minus 13. To cover that, we can use throws. Giant Swing and Muscle Buster both look like a 1 plus 2 throw, so it's a true 50-50. Unfortunately, staying on the ground escapes the mix-up, but that's where ground throws come in. If they side roll left, then it's camel clutch, and if they side roll right or stay down, it's half Boston Crab, and that leads to even more damage. Now, if you're interested in ground throws and the OK they create, check out my video on them. There's a card in the corner and a link in the description. Unfortunately, the ground throws become generic throws against tech crawlers, but if people wake up kick, we get hit, and if it's a low, we get tripped. So with these setups, should we use them? 
Well, in most cases, no. With Armor King, it feels like you're sacrificing too much damage, and he also has the Moonsault Tender, which is pretty good. With King, he gets good Oki post power bomb, and really, FF1 combos are what you should be going for. But the one case where I'd use them is if the opponent is low on health. If you think finishing the combo won't kill them, but put them into rage, the setup may be worth it. That way, if you're successful, you can kill them and don't have to worry about to come back. Now, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. It really helps out this channel and it motivates me to do more for this character. Looking ahead, there are more Armor King guides coming, so keep your eyes peeled for those. In the meantime, have fun, play well, and I'll see you guys in the future.